Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. Got another review for you today. And today we're looking at the Nodder's tool, seen right here, and as well as the Paracord smoothing tool. All right. So uh, remember, if you're looking forward to get these uh, items, you can check out the affiliate links down below. And with that being said, let's get into the review. So let's start it off by having a look at the Paracord smoothing tool. So it's a very simple tool, just a very thin piece of uh, metal and it's just got some grooves here and I guess you would put your thumb there and the whole point of the smoothing tool is um, for pressing down those melted ends on when you uh, clip off the excess paracord so uh, I know a lot of you know I like to use my Nodder's tool for that but this is just a different option um, if you want a smooth finish it's definitely much safer than you know um, you know licking your thumb and pressing down on it because you could always burn yourself so uh, yeah it's very simple tool, um, pretty inexpensive, and uh, this one is definitely much more optional. I'm sure you can use a lot of other different um, tools for smoothing stuff out, but I mean, heck, you could use a butter knife if you wanted to. But you know, it is nice to have uh, specific tools for spe specific purposes, and if you're you know really into this hobby, this is something you might want to consider. So let's we'll do a demo of that later on. And moving on to the Nodder's tool. We've got uh, this beautiful red Nodder's tool here. And I'm gonna compare it to my previous one that I've been using. We have the paracord out of the way for now. So they're very similar. Um, this one, this red one is a bit longer. And uh, immediately I can tell the construction on this one is a bit better. Um, they're both made of aluminum. Um, this one, I'm not sure what the grade of aluminum is, but it is it does feel a bit more durable. Um, like my previous one, there is an internal storage compartment to store three of your different types of FIDs, so that's always nice. Set that aside. And of course, this one also has a storage as well, right? And of course, this one is, um, you can unscrew it from the front as well. Uh, also, it does have a lanyard loop at the back here. And that same nice uh, knurling texture that I like to use for, you know, finishing the paracord. Now, the reason why I like this newer one better is because of the tip of the Nodder's tool. So as you can see, the red one is not as pointy as the silver one. And the reason I like that is because it's a bit more sturdy. Um, there have been many situations where my uh, silver Nodder's tool here, it has bent because I was prying open a knot or so tightening a knot with it and it got bent because it's you know it's very thin and um you know that's you know it still works but i had to go back and you know bend it back because you know uh, you don't want it to look all weird and this one is a bit uh sturdier at the point at the tip so i don't think i'll have that issue and i have tested this one out quite a bit so that i like a lot and also um the red one is not as pointy and a lot of the times when I go to use um, the this Nodder's tool, the silver one, it'll pierce the paracord a lot and um, actually end up messing up, uh, causing a fray or something like that. So, um, you know, a, few, a couple of drawbacks with this one, but now that I have this newer one, I'm actually like the, liking this one a lot more. And it um, has that same knurling texture, of course, for grip as well as um, for finishing paracord. So uh, now let's just do a quick demo of how I would use um, the smoothing tool. And actually I'll show both, of course, um, how I normally finish paracord and let's use the smoothing tool as well. So we'll, we'll cut our paracord like so. I'll take my lighter. So give that a nice torch. And then with the smoothing tool, you can just press down and have a nice flat finish there. Okay, let's give it a little more actually. All right, so that is the smooth finish, as you can see there. And let's do the Nodder's tool. Oh, and of course, you know, when undoing knots, this works totally fine, you know, um, as the knotter's tool. So no complaints there. Kind of already went over the use of the tip and whatnot. So now let's, uh, yeah, do the last one.
And this is my actually preferred method of finishing because I like that knurled texture. So let's uh, melt it down. And then give it a press. I like that uh, texture because it actually kind of matches the uh, texture of the paracord. But, you know, it's all up to you how you want to do it. And I'm sure you could find a lot of other uses for the uh, smoothing tool as well. All right, so um, overall, yeah, I'm very happy with these products. Um, these were sent to me to check out uh, from Sean over at Board Paracord, so I'll put the um, links for these products down below. And yeah, definitely check it out. Nodder's tool as well as the smoothing tool, um, I would say, you know, you're definitely not completely required to have these tools, but having these tools is nice. Um, you know, you can... If you're really getting into the hobby and you got a few uh, dollars to invest, maybe you want to try out these tools and check them out. All right, so there it is, guys. Just a quick look and review at the Nodder's tool as well as the Paracord Smoothie tool. All right, so guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next video.